So I work with founder CEOs throughout their journey, actually, from early stage startup right through to gro high growth, right to, to IPO and exit. And one of the most common factors that I see, or I ask my question when I see a founder, is I say, hey, it sounds like your boss is a bit of an arsehole. They look at me and say, well, I haven't got a boss. So I'm like, well, of course you have. You've got that boss inside your head who's telling you what you should and you shouldn't be doing. And symptoms of if your boss is an arsehole, symptoms of your boss being an arsehole are things like this. You're working 60 hour weeks. You're working every weekend. You're approaching burnout, yet you keep pushing yourself harder all the way through, thinking there's got to be a better way on the other side of this. You find yourself dreaming about taking a month off but your, your boss is telling you, no, you simply can't do that. It's being lazy. Your boss is telling you, perhaps, hey, you're not good enough for this. You've not got the right skills. You're not doing the right thing here. Maybe your, your boss is an element of imposter syndrome. Hey, somebody's going to recognise that you're not great at this. Maybe you need to overcompensate by overachieving here. These are all symptoms of your boss being an asshole. And me as a coach, I see this a lot. I used to have an asshole boss. Sometimes I still have an asshole boss. You know, and... And in having that arsehole boss, you've got to understand yourself. How can I start to talk to this boss to help me feel better about what I'm doing? To try and switch off this constant internal critic or internal push that's making me work when I don't want to work and undermining exactly how I feel. This feeling of anxiety or challenges all the way through that I'm doing. How do you deal with that internal boss? And simply the first thing to be able to do is just to sort of sit there and listen to it. Is to have a notepad and just write down. Hey. My asshole boss is telling me something here. Just make a note of when that happens. And what that allows you to do is the more you make a note of when your asshole boss is talking and driving you to do something that perhaps you don't think you need to do or is driving you for a different reason, as soon as you start to notice that, you can start to do something about it. You start to notice when that's turning up. You start to have being able to say, hey, look, oh, this is, I'm turning up, this, my boss is speaking here. And then once your asshole boss is speaking, you think, well, hey, OK, my asshole boss is speaking here. At this point, you've got a choice if you can listen to them or not. As soon as you start to notice it, you've then got a choice. Do I need to listen to it? Do I not? What choices have I got in this particular situation? You're effectively exercising the muscle of listening for that inner voice that's telling you things that maybe aren't true.